What is up YouTube, and welcome back to episode 32 of the Chaos Daily. What did you guys think of that Phenom setup video? Was that cool or what? Yeah, I spent a lot of time working on that. I, I hope it shows. You won't ever see video quality like that here on a daily. This is like a vlog. I do the minimum amount of effort required to get these videos out. And uh, yeah, but for videos like that, I, I put a lot more effort into So like, that'll be my weekly type videos. So next week will be the setup part two, where we start printing and we get the printer set up and calibrated and all that good stuff. Um, hopefully, we'll see. We're, I'm waiting on shipping stuff. Like, keep going on about shipping. I live in Australia. Th this is like the bane of my existence. It's shipping times. So anyways, let's get in with this episode. We started with a time lapse today. Ah, 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 gotcha. You thought you were gonna see my face at the start of the video. Gotcha. Yeah, no, straight in the time lapse. Um, yeah, so what we're working on, tools. Now, when we get started with the printer and start setting up and calibrating and stuff, one of the things that I need to do is print a whole lot of test articles to calibrate my numbers in CAD to the tolerances of the real world object. If I make something in CAD that is this size, when it prints, it comes out this size. I need to work out what that tolerance difference is. There are some cool tools in Chitterbox that actually have tolerance settings built into it, so you don't even have to worry about it in CAD. You just design it to whatever size you want. And Chitterbox handles that automatically when it does the slicing, so you just have to go in and set that up. Do some test calibration prints, some test articles, get some measurements, see what the difference is in percentages. You type those numbers into the cheater box tool and it, that's it. You set it and forget it. If you're always printing with the same kind of resin and you're always printing in the same kind of environment, which I will be with a heated system, then it's going to be brilliant. It's going to be golden. So one of the things I was thinking about is I have all these tools and stuff just lying around and they're in these they're in these like yellow tubs that I've got just because like I hate toolboxes because when you put tools in toolboxes they get filthy and you, you can never find the right one and it's a real pain in the butt so I've got them all in these things at the moment which is almost as bad but that's going to change soon so I'm going to print some little holders that hold all the sockets and also hold these ratchet spanners they're, they're pretty cool is that cool or what yeah so I'm going to print a mount for all of these things and it doubles as test articles because each one of these has a specific size that you need to make so you can get a range of sizes of hexagons or circles or whatever that you want to print and I can kill two birds with one stone I can do my tolerance testing and I can do some tool organizing at the same time so that's what that's all about so that's probably gonna be one of the first projects we get printed along with a couple of other things yeah super short episode today just just trying to relax after all the busy work with that Phenom episode. Ooh, wow, yeah. So, and I've been working on working on the albatross a bit too, trying to get that a little bit closer to finished and working, making some alterations to it for myself for the resin printing because it's different to FDM printing. I don't need it to do, do certain things, and I need it to do other things. So I've been making slight alterations with that. But I'm probably going to go through and revamp a whole load of files for the albatross again because I discovered a few things when I was going back over the files to make changes for myself that I'm like, huh, I don't think I remember finishing that or this or that or the other or that's not quite right. I need to sort that out or this didn't extrude properly here or something. So there's lots of little different things that I've got to go over and get sorted. But yeah, we'll leave this episode here. If you haven't already, hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not, hit the notification bell. Check out the Patreon link down below if you can. That'd be super awesome. I love my patrons. They're freaking awesome guys. And um, yeah, I've been Chaos. And as always, expect the unexpected. And I'll see you guys next time. And a special thank you to all my patrons that help support the channel. If you would also like to support the channel, there's a link in the description.